And let me ask you about your frustration with the pace of this pro process. Uh, how do you and other Democrats plan or want to try to accelerate that? Well, I mean, a lot of it's out of our control. All we can do is try to use public pressure to keep the investigation going forward. Uh, I do think we're back on track. I want to give kudos to uh, Mr. Conaway. I think he and Mr. Schiff are working well. Uh, today's hearing's one indication of that. Do we have a lot to do? Absolutely. Are we behind now? Absolutely. But the investigation is far too important for us to give up because others don't want it to go forward. How much uh, bipartisan unanimity is there on the direction of this committee's investigation? Do Republicans and Democrats agree on, at the very least, what they hope to investigate here? Well, there were four elements that were agreed on in writing by the full committee. And the hearing that you heard today was just one of those elements. The hacking into the election process uh, that Secretary Johnson talked about today. So it is not just about whether there was collusion between Russians and the Trump team. It's how far did the Russians go, how do we stop that in the future, and uh, the issue of leaks. I would argue uh, it just has to be the case de facto that we're also investigating obstruction because it's all part of the same process and a continuity of these actions. Congressman, quickly, something that stood out to me from Jay Johnson's testimony today was uh, how, how readily law enforcement agencies realized that there was Russian meddling on a state-by-state -state basis, and Bloomberg News uh, wrote a piece a couple of weeks ago about uh, the wideness of that, how many states were affected by this. I was struck by what he said about how big a role sovereignty played here, that states refused the help of the federal government. Going forward, how do you prevent that from happening? In other words, you're trying to curb cyber attacks. How do you get states to take the help of the federal government? Yeah, I think you go through the public and you recognize what do you have a greater fear of? The federal government giving you grants to buy new election equipment or education or give you the heads up and training to avoid hacking in the future? Are you worried about that or are you more worried about uh, Russians attempting to influence the democratic process? So I think in the final analysis, the public gets it. Um, you know, we're going to go through our turmoil in elections. We can't let the Russians influence it. I also think it would help a great deal if the President of the United States acknowledged what 17 intel agencies have already agreed has happened, that the Russians were the ones involved in this, they did the hacking and dumping, and they hacked into, what, double figures of states' election sites.